I'm going to try to talk to you a little bit. I told Brother Driver I would make an effort. If it don't go very far, I'll call on Brother Driver. <laughs> uh, we got a plan here. Amen. I don't know, does anyone have a testimony, anything that's on their heart tonight before we get started? Brother James, I'd seen your hand earlier and I just wanted to. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Man. God's not dead. He's still alive. Amen. Amen. I tell you, it's so wonderful to know that we serve a risen Savior. Amen. Amen. Is anyone else? Love that song the sister was singing. No wonder they call it amazing grace. Man, you know, you think of what God has done for you and where he's brought you from. It's no wonder they call it amazing grace. I think of where he brought me from, and I tell you what, it's sure amazing. It's sure amazing. And uh, uh, just thinking of some things and thinking of the condition that the world's in today. I was speaking with Brother Rob last night on the phone, and we was just talking about some things in the world events and he was talking about some uh, prophecies that had been sent to him that uh, there was I think a prophecy and then there was someone else that he had come across some writings and you know it seems that you know that we're in a situation to where uh, we're headed for the judgments of God here in America and even around the world but Especially here in America, because they've been given so much. The Bible said where much is given, much is required. And been given so much as to the things of God and, and yet have turned so far away. And, you know, and people, people in the world and even in the church realms, they, they wouldn't understand that. They wouldn't understand that. They, 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 they just can't get a hold of that. They say, what are you talking about? You know, we're talking about God. We've got God in every sector section of life or sector of life you know and and we've got you know we've got religious people from Hollywood down to the sports stars to politics and everywhere else you know and, and what do you mean what are we talking about and you know but then you look around us and you see the condition and and men are people are not becoming more godly we're not becoming more God conscious. We're becoming less God conscious and less godly and, and further into uh, the things of the world than we've ever been. And the church is right in the middle of it. The church is right in the middle of it. And, and you know, when you look at it and you say the church, and, you know, you think of Christianity, you know, and, it, you know, it seems that the term Christian has been hijacked you know it seems like it's been just just taken so loosely and taken in such a way that you know and now even uh to say uh evangelicals are are born again when you listen to the statistics and they talk about how many people are are, are what they call born again Christians you think god I, I don't think they even know what it means you know it, it you look at the life and you look at what's happening. You look at what the world's doing in the church. And, and to think that they're calling themselves born again Christians. And you think, my God, you know, how could they even, they don't even know what it means. If they confess something, they feel like, well, that did it. And that's, that's it. And you look at the situation and you say, my God, you know, where are we headed? What can we do? You know, I don't know, as far as America itself, I don't know that there's anything we can do. I don't know that there's anything we can do. Dad said he remember hearing Brother Branham talking about that he, he quit praying for America, and he, he'd been gone since 65. 
And you know, when you look and you, and, and you, and you start looking around and you say, my God, what, what, what's left? What is left for us to do? The only thing I can see is some gleaning. It's to try to, to be a light and, and to be a stability and to direct, to direct our families and our children that are coming up in this quagmire of confusion. I mean, there is confusion everywhere. Everywhere you look, it's in the schools, it's in the churches, it's in the... There's so much immorality that's taking place in the world around us, and yet we're overlooking it and bypassing it and, and saying, well, it's them out there, and it's, and it's all around us, and it's affecting every one of us. Amen. And it's, it, it's so, you know, and, and you say, God, what can we do? And, you know, we was talking and, and uh, talking about the new administration and some of the things that they're already bringing in, and I'm telling you, it's going to be a liberal agenda. And I say liberal, I don't mean as to pol- po- politics is the way they use it because they got uh, politics is all messed up. You know, I mean, nowadays they think if you're conservative, you're a Christian, or if you're if you're a Republican, you're a Christian. They think if you're American, you're a Christian, and uh, all these, you know, the concept and the and the and the meaning of Christian has lost such a mean its meaning and its power and its strength. You know, used to when you said I was a Christian, people had respect. But it's kind of hard to have respect and dry up the filthy mouth and things when the pastor is cracking filthy jokes with you. When he's the one letting the curse word slip or fly. You know, it's it's kind of hard to, you know, really make a distinction. Nowadays, there's not any. It's just, that's another club. It's another club. It's another social event. You know, we go to church to get our pep talk and to, our, our feel good. And we're going about our business. You know, and, 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 and it's, you know, it's like uh, we're a bunch of cheerleaders or something. Rah, rah, rah. You know, we, we got the blessings of God. You know, we're, we're the children of God. And, you know, he wants us to have all these things. And, boy, and they go after it with everything they got. Go after it. And it's such a sad situation that we're living in. And as I was talking to Brother Rob, uh, he mentioned something, and he's reminded me a couple of times of this. And when he first mentioned it, sometimes I don't always remember what I've said. Brother Rob, you have that problem? <laughs> Start saying, I guess it's a good thing it's taped. Sometimes I don't know if it's such a good thing. <laughs> but... Last year, it might have been during the time we was having our meeting, and I believe it was, during the celebration time, and the Lord was moving in a mighty way. I mean, God moved in the services. And, but I made a statement that the thing that we've been waiting for, we've been saying it's coming. These things are coming to pass. You know, it, it, it's coming upon us. I made the statement, it's here. And you know what? I believe it is. I believe it is. You know, we're seeing the things just unfold right before our eyes. And as he said that last night, he reminded me of that once again. Because it had an impact and it, and it really struck home with Brother Rob. He said, it's true. And as he said that, man, I just felt a witness in my spirit. I just felt the, the spirit of God just move over me. And I was like... God, you, you, this is, this is, you know, you wanting this thing to hit home. You want it to settle in. This, this is a reality. Amen. You know, and, and, you know, and all I can say at this point is what we need to do is, is, is do everything that we possibly can that's in our power to, you know, spread the gospel, tell people about Jesus, and, and pray and intercede like we never had because there ain't any of us that don't have friends and loved ones that aren't lost. Amen. And pray that God somehow will have mercy upon them in, the, in this last few moments of time that we have. And, uh, you know, it, it's, just, it's just that close. And somebody said, but, but what if it's another 50 years? So what? It ain't going to be 50 years for us. There's people going to meet God every day. So it's not going to, you know, 
When is your time? When's my time? What's that got to do with it? You know, as far as that goes. Or we could say, what's 50 years to com compared to eternity? Fairly short. The thing is, we see that God is they're, they're just things falling into place. And we say, man, you know, where are we at, Lord? What do we do? The Bible tells us to cry aloud, spare not. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Tell my people of their sin. 